In this vlog, we will try to see the concept of testing in software programming. So what exactly is testing and why do we require it? So do we require software testing each and every application? So now let's get a clarity on this particular topic in this vlog. So I suggest you to watch this vlog till the end so that if you are a beginner you will get a very good knowledge on the concept of testing in software programming. You might have built applications based on Flutter, Android, iOS, React and web development. These are the few things which I have just covered in this particular topic but there are quite more. So you might have heard a concept of unit testing. So in this vlog we will try to see what exactly is unit testing and why do we require it. So now let's get started. So what is a unit testing and how will it help us? First of all unit testing is an important aspect in programming. So some of you might not be aware of this particular concept unit testing because mainly a fresher might not be concentrating on this particular topic unit testing because he will be getting started with the software development in the initial days. But later on I suggest you to keep practicing unit testing in your applications as well because it has a very good importance in software development. Test individual code components. With the help of this particular unit testing you can test the units in your code. Units are nothing but small pieces of code you can say in a general terminology and also code components you can say. We are trying to test these particular code components. For example an easy example for you to understand is you are trying to build a calculator application and there you are having a component to add two numbers here. So you are trying to provide two numbers into it and you are trying to fetch the output. The work of this particular component is to add these two numbers and provide you the output. You can test this particular code component and you can verify that it is whether working according to the requirement or not. This is just a small example in real time scenario when you are developing a real world applications there are several code components which have their own functionality so it will be very critical for you to handle and test all these functionalities every time you provide live build. So unit testing makes it easy for you to verify them in a very easy manner. Let's try to see the third point verifying the working status. So as we have just seen verifying the working status of each and every code component in your application is not possible every time because sometimes you might not be having so much time to test each and every code component. Unit testing makes it much easier for you and thereafter fixing the bugs. Whenever you are having any bugs in your code with the help of the unit testing you can easily find out them and later on you can fix them easily. So it will in turn improve the code performance. Code which you are writing will have a very good stability. So the crashes will be reduced in your application. So unit testing plays an important role in your application development by eradicating the unwanted crashes and also it makes the overall performance of your application much better. So these are the few basic overviews of unit testing and now let's try to see how it's performed, how a unit testing is being performed. So just to add two numbers you have created a code component right. So the first thing we do is like we try to provide inputs to this particular code component and try to observe the output. For adding two numbers I am trying to provide one and one as a two inputs. So let's specify one comma one to a particular code component and when you add these two particular inputs you will get an output like two right. So let's try to observe whether the output is two or not. So if the output is 2 then your test is passed and if the output is something other than 2 then it is failed. So in this way you can just assess the basic functionality of a unit testing in this particular small code component. Creating a series of test cases is also required right. So for example in a login scenario you need to observe the input first whether the user has provided the input or not. And if the input is being provided, whether the input is in a valid form or not. 
and sometimes you need to also verify the pattern of the email address passwords and all the input fields which you have provided in your application and later on you need to validate whether they are working exactly or not so in this way there will be a series of test cases to be performed on a single code component sometimes observing the performance after testing these particular code components you will be observing their performance like how they are performing whether they are accurate or not so accurate in the sense whether they are according to your requirement for example you are trying to validate an email address by providing few scenarios whether the email is valid or not whether there are any basic characters missing in the email address you will be trying to observe the performance of the test case as well you will be observing the performance of your code component by help of this particular unit testing and when you are trying to perform this unit testing you will be also trying to know the stability of your application whether it is crashing and whether it is able to handle the load of data coming in various scenarios you will be covering in this particular test cases like just we have seen whether the input is correct or not whether the input is in valid format or not whether the all the required fields are provided by the user or not so all these particular things are been effectively covered with the help of this particular unit testing scenarios and not only they are covered but they are also properly tested next when it's performed generally a unit testing is performed before the code is written or sometimes even after the code is written it's a best practice to start unit testing before getting started with your code so that you will be having an exact assessment in your mind like what is the functionality which you are trying to get this is what the second point is to assess the exact requirement for example you are trying to add two numbers so this is your requirement so write a test case according to that particular requirement and when you are getting the test pass then you can start coding exactly as per that particular unit testing scenario you might have heard about tdd attd and bdd so these are test driven development and attd means acceptance test driven development and behavior driven development so these are the various ways of developing an application based on this particular test scenarios let's get started with the basic things and you can later move on to this particular terminologies later and even sometimes you can add unit test cases to your code even after writing the code currently you might have written the code and you are trying to use it but also you can add unit test cases even now it's not mandatory to add unit test cases before writing the code but you can write the unit test cases even after writing the code according to the code components why it's perform previously also we have seen why we required unit test cases it will reduce the risk of errors in your code as we have seen every time it's not possible to test your entire application so unit test cases will make this particular work for you and provide the output whenever you try to run them in a series all the unit test cases in your entire application will be running and will be providing you the status at the end and if there is any error you can just jump to that particular code component and try to fix it maintain stability in your code so you will be having a confidence in the code which you have written by making use of this particular unit testing concept here and developer can easily and quickly makes the fixes so whenever you have got any errors any test cases have failed you can just directly go to that particular code component and easily fix the errors and maintain the stability of your application faster testing process unit testings are much faster when you execute them after you have done with your coding just try to run the unit test cases of your entire application before making it a production build this will help you to eradicate all the issues and also to maintain the stability of your application and of course the process is very faster compared to manually verifying each code component which is of course not possible every time conclusions on this particular tutorial mostly unit test cases are been ignored so mostly the developers 
will not add test cases to their code because it's often time consuming when you are trying to add unit test cases to your code so they skip this particular unit test cases and directly jump onto the code creation and again it's your wish i mean if you want to have a stability in your application and if you want to have a very good performance through your application you want to provide to the user so i suggest you to add unit test cases to your application so it's a good practice to add unit test cases every time because it will safeguard your code every time and will try to make you aware of the errors in your code it will also improve the coding standards so whenever there is any new feature added to your particular existing code then there might be few bugs arising so you can easily identify those bugs before making the app live or providing it to the further testing team so it will improve the core standards and also you will understand where your application is going wrong exactly it will monitor it will make you monitor the code easily so for example whenever you are trying to test the login functionality you can just tap on a single button and try to test the entire login functionality and can find out issues in that particular component and the same with the entire application as well so you can test the individual block of codes and you can just a group of codes and you can test the complete application depending upon your requirement so in coming block i will try to explain you the practical example of how you can perform unit testing so yes this is it for this tutorial and i hope you like this tutorial on testing so if do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter